Our State of the U.S. segment tonight, a stock market update. Yesterday, the Dow plunged almost 1,600 points, the biggest single-day point drop in history. The sell-off eased somewhat today, but investors are beginning to become concerned about the state of the stock market. President Trump has touted stock market growth throughout his term, crediting his own economic policies for the strong numbers. So what does this mean for the economy as a whole, and what does it mean for your pocketbook? With me now, founder of The Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Melissa, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me today. All right, Melissa, talk to me about this and talk to our viewers who may not uh, know the ins and outs of how the stock market works, what causes it to fluctuate, and what a drop of this magnitude means. 1,600 points. What does this mean? Well, we actually had a really nice rally into the close today. So although we did drop Friday and we had a really hard drop on Monday and all, this, all the market indices, we recovered big time today. So that's a positive sign. But even yesterday into the close, I don't think there was any reason for anyone to panic. Investors for the long term, which is most people in their 401ks, are doing fine. If you look at from the time Trump was elected in November 2016 up until the end of January or even last Thursday, we made so many records, so many new highs. People are up a lot of money. There was no reason to panic from two down days. I know it was a steep drop in a short time, but that was really why people were getting excited. It just happened so quickly. If that correction had taken like seven to 10 days, nobody would, would be jumping up and down about it. Right. So talk to me a little bit about the cause. And I, I agree with you uh, largely on the overreaction of many in the media in regards to this drop. It was the biggest one point or the biggest one day point decline. But percentage wise, it wasn't. The media loves to ignore when President Trump touts the 99 records that have been set in the stock market since he began his presidency. They don't cover that at all, but they do like to cover it when it drops and blame it on Trump here. What does cause it to drop to this extent if it's only able to recover, like you said, or begin to recover very shortly thereafter? Well, part of the reason why I think that we sold off on Monday is because last week there was some disappointing earnings that happened in some big tech stocks that are important in the market. Apple was one they missed earnings and dropped Thursday night. Google was another one dropped Thursday night. And so they didn't meet expectations. Friday morning, the market gapped down with those big movers and stocks fell. And then the continuation happened on Monday. Bond rates are rising, and so there was some profit taking in the market, and people are repositioning money a little bit out of the market in stocks and putting them into bonds because bonds are, are the U.S. Treasury bonds, you know, are a safer investment than the market, which involves risk. But the market is still a great risk right now. You mentioned Trump and his policies. They've just begun. It's February, February 2018. They just passed tax reform. You got to give it time to work. I do believe it will work. I do believe the savings that these corporations are going to have for taxes going forward are going to be huge. And I think the impact is going to be positive for everyone. Technically and fundamentally, there's you know nothing but good signs on the horizon for the market unless there was some horrible catalyst, which would be something maybe with North Korea. But there was no catalyst to the market move on Monday. And so I think it was just profit taking. Right. And something like that has the ability then to recover relatively quickly. Melissa, talk to me about the hysteria here. I know people on Wall Street, uh, they're stereotyped as being very high strung. The media, as we know, love to cry wolf on these things. But if you look at the fundamentals, if you look at the numbers here, uh, while it was a 1600 point drop, the percentage that it fell was 4.6 percent. If I'm not mistaken, this isn't even close to uh, reaching that list of highest percentage drops in the history of our stock market. Right. And you were talking about panic. So let's talk about panic for a little bit. Panic, I'll tell you when to panic. Panic when you're down. People are up. So it's, it, it wasn't a panicky selling action. And that's one of the reasons we, why we flipped around so quickly today. That today was a confirmation that there's no panic. Panic continues. Panic would be if we got up in the morning and the market gapped down huge in the pre-market. That didn't happen. We fell on the live day. So panic is when people are down or when the trend changes in the overall market. 
stock market is still bullish. We're still in an uptrend and people are up money. Now they were up more money last Thursday than they were by the close of Monday, but they're still up because like I said, we've been rallying ever since the election. Although we did rally all the eight years during Obama's term, we were in a bullish market, but the policies of Trump have really made the market do something very unique, which is called power trending. So the market set all of these records and continued to make new highs. It almost went straight up. That wasn't going to continue forever. There was no way that was going to continue forever. That's not realistic. And so people took some money off the table. And like I said, I think part of it was because some of these companies, the reports didn't pan out. And so there were some profits taken off the table. But look for more records to be set, I think, if the market flips around again. And it is because of Trump's policies. I think that they're going to work for the economy and I think that's one of the reasons why if you're in the market long term, just stay with it. Ride the trend. The trend is your friend. It's a good saying. Right. That, that's very interesting. We're almost out of time, Melissa, but I have to ask you one more question because you're answering these uh, so brilliantly. President Trump's response to the sell off, this point drop, he said that he's focused on long term economic fundamentals. Now, you believe that his economic policies thus far have contributed uh, to these high stock market numbers, at least up until the last day or two. Moving forward, what do you look for from him policy-wise that you believe will be a positive impact on the stock market? Well, going forward, he's going to try to bring more jobs back to the U.S. So you're going to have companies that are going to be coming to the U.S. and wanting to do business here, and I think that's very positive for employment rates in the U.S. And another thing is there's companies that are bringing money back to the U.S. that they have outside of the U.S. Apple's a good example. That company has funds outside of the U.S. and he's doing that one-time repatriation tax to bring money back to the United States. And again, that's going to be taxed, but it's a one-time tax that happens. That tax money is going to come back into the government, which is going to help the debt. And also, those companies are going to spend the money in the U.S., and that's going to help the corporations. Apple's just one, but there's a lot of them. So the repatriation, one-time tax rate, I think, is positive. And Trump's going to continue to try to you know, change regulations. Some of the things are just too tight. And I think it's going to overall help the job market significantly in the country. Well, there you have it. Melissa Armo, thank you so much for joining me today. It was wonderful to talk to you.